story is about my auntie, mum's sister, her partner, and their daughter. They moved into their home in the early 90s. It was built back in the 1930s, and hadn't had any major work done to it before they bought it. The first plan of action for my auntie's partner was to knock down some of the walls on the ground floor to open it up and fix all the ceilings in the bedrooms on the first floor. There was a leak in the roof, which meant that all the ceilings were warped and bowed and marked with damp, so he ripped all of it off until it was just exposed rafters and then put new ceiling boards up. This meant that while his work was being done, the loft space was completely empty. Once all the work was done, they could make the house their own. They had a good few months worth of lovely new home vibes, but one night my auntie woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of someone closing the kitchen cupboards quite loudly, not slamming them shut, more like someone not bothering to take into account that someone else was asleep. Her partner was asleep next to her, so she assumed it was my cousin pottering around down there. My cousin was around 15 at the time, so it didn't surprise my aunt that she wasn't exactly considerate when getting her late night snacks. She muttered a few words of annoyance and went back to sleep. The banging of the doors continued sporadically for the rest of the night. The next morning, my aunt goes downstairs quite tired from not sleeping too well because of the noise to find my cousin eating her breakfast at the kitchen table. I'm surprised you're up so early, considering you were banging about the place all night, my aunt says to my cousin. What do you mean? I didn't get up last night. I slept right through. My auntie then gets this wave of panic. Who was banging around last night? There was no sign of anything being out of place or disturbed, and all the perimeter doors and windows were locked and undamaged. After a bit of arguing regarding who was walking around with no one owning up to it, my auntie comes to the conclusion that it must have been a particularly vivid dream, and they go about their day. A few weeks pass and it happens again. My auntie is awoken in the middle of the night by the occasional sound of cupboard doors banging shut in the kitchen. This time, she gets up and goes down to investigate, but there's nothing. No one is awake, and nothing looks out of place. At this point, my aunt is getting seriously creeped out. She tries to reason that maybe it's the neighbors, and the sound is being carried through the house because it's always much quieter at night and easier to hear things. But this gets dismissed when my auntie's partner points out that they are semi-detached, and the neighbor's kitchen is on the wrong side of the house for that to be the cause of the noise. The banging is definitely coming from below them in the kitchen, rather than off to one side of the house where the neighbor's kitchen would be. This carries on for a good while. Every week or so, there comes a night where one of them is awoken by sporadic banging. They go to investigate, nothing, and return to bed. Now, a quick digression. My aunt sometimes goes to a medium. She goes to see if she can get messages from relatives who have passed on. Sometimes she gets told spooky accurate stuff, other times it's way off the mark. One time she goes and sees, and this is deep during the period when the banging is going on, but she doesn't mention any of this to the media. She's always careful, very careful not to say anything or give away any visual clues to whichever medium she's seeing, because she wants to believe and all that, and doesn't want the niggling doubt that she had actually fed the answers to the medium. She's got a great poker face. The medium is talking to her about messages they're receiving, stuff about her career, her partner, which turned out to be true, cheating dirtbag. And then the medium randomly starts talking about her house, how she's been there for a while now, but there's someone in the house who isn't happy, someone who doesn't like what they've done to the layout. My auntie is confused. She assumes that the medium is talking about her partner or my cousin, but the medium continues. Check the loft, the medium says. There's something in the loft. Now this creeps my auntie out even more. She knows that nothing is in the loft. They've never gone up there since moving because everything that was in there, they put in the garage when they arrived. So her partner could redo the ceilings, but they never got around to moving all the stuff from the garage to the loft again. So she goes home and tells her partner about how there's supposed to be something in the loft, but not about what she was told about him cheating on her one day self-fulfilling prophecy and all that. And he gets the ladder and goes up there. There's a period of quiet while he looks around with a torch and then goes, holy crap. He comes back down the ladder chute, clutching a piece of paper. I found this lying on one of the rafters, he says. 
It's a photograph, a black and white photograph of a woman in her 50s, and she looks pissed, very stern, and it gives all of them the creeps, especially when my auntie's partner insists there's no way it couldn't have been there when he found it. He would have seen it when he was redoing all the ceilings. They cannot work it out, so my auntie rings the old owner. They have a chat, and my auntie describes the woman in the photo. The old owner is able to deduce that it's a picture of his mum. Turns out she died in that house back in the 80s and he inherited it and continued to live there until he sold it to my aunt's family. Now this gives my auntie a serious case of heebie-jeebies. She puts the phone down and then says out loud that she's sorry if the new layout isn't to the old lady's liking, but they just have to get on with it now. A few nights pass and there's no more noise. But then they're all awoken by the most awful sound of pots and pans being thrown on the floor. They run downstairs but there's nothing to account for what caused the noise but my aunt describes it like no noise she's ever heard before. It was just awful. She scans the kitchen counters. Where's the photo of the old woman? Her partner tells her that he threw it away in the morning. My auntie erupts. Get the photo out of the bin now. He dutifully retrieves it, and she tries to smooth out the creases and apologizes out loud. The photo is put in one of the kitchen drawers and then goes back to bed. After that, my aunt would still get woken up every now and then by the sound of the cupboard doors banging, but she never went to investigate. It was just the old woman voicing her displeasure again. They moved out a few years ago and left a note to the new owner, saying to leave the photo in the kitchen drawer.